hi friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you so much but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload so friends today's story we are going to namibia <laughs> the land of braves yes we have a namibian lady by the name of samantha who found love on online dating apps then planned the first meeting got abandoned at the airport so i'm going to be giving you the detailed story of samantha on how it started till when she got abandoned by that online boyfriend and what happened after <laughs> but guys before i begin this story i have a request for you if you think of trying online dating apps you are here on my channel and maybe you watch one of my video talking about online dating apps you get encouraged then you're like let me try online dating apps before you try online dating apps please please get as much information as needed about online dating apps search on how to know if a guy is serious on online dating apps such of the dangers you can encounter on online dating apps such everything guys because if you just join online dating apps without knowing anything you are going to get in trouble my second request is if you are on online dating apps already but you don't have enough experience please please keep searching for information about online dating apps don't just go and stick to success online dating love story no or oh, don't just go and watch interracial couples then that's it you're on online dating apps searching for a white man especially you guys who are interested in white men no guys also go and search the challenges so if you are going to try online dating apps or you are on online dating apps the information is there on the internet to know how online dating world can be so that you can be on that safer side i always say that be on that alert mode yes <laughs> Because guys, the things that happened to Samantha in this whole story, they are the same, same things I always tell you. I've made lots of videos talking about these same, same things. That is why I really wish Samantha came across my videos before going through what she went through. Because afterwards, I had to ask Samantha, how many videos have you watched? from my channel she was like bella phew <laughs> i told her now i know i wish you had watched more of my videos so yes. friends let's start our today's story it's going to be a very very interesting full of drama afro cinema <laughs> yes guys so grab a glass of wine a glass of water popcorns anything to keep you company and let's learn and enjoy this story by the way guys before i forget this story is the real story that happened this year it's not an invented story bella just sat down and invented the story no guys it happened this year and samantha got abandoned at the airport this november second november to be precise okay so let us begin our story and the story starts with samantha's past love relationship experience i always tell you that it is very good for us to know the past love relationship experience of a lady who shares the story to know why she joined online dating apps to know where she came from so was samantha dating someone in the past before joining online dating apps and why did she join online dating apps so dear friend samantha tells us yes she was in a relationship before with a namibian guy actually not one 
to but dated them at a different time so the first guy they dated everything went very well for some time <laughs> then found out the guy was cheating on her so she had to end the relationship the second Namibian guy, this guy was living in a different city from where Samantha was living, but they used to communicate and eventually, you know, when you are in love, you love each other, you have that, you know, <laughs> chemistry. When you meet, eventually you share their goodies. <laughs> so Samantha shared the goodies with a guy and after sharing the goodies, the relationship lasted for only a week. <laughs> when Samantha was telling me this, I laughed so hard cause I could relate with my past relationships. <laughs> so Samantha was like, after giving the goodies, this guy started acting weird. It is Samantha who started like running after the guy, calling the guy, how are you doing? I miss you. <laughs> it's Samantha that was like pursuing the guy after giving the goodies. But this is how most African men act. They act so sweet at the beginning of the relationship. They treat you like a queen. When you give that goodies, <laughs> <laughs> that is when you get to know their true colors <laughs> you get character development <laughs> yeah so that is what happened to the second namibian guy that samantha dated so after chasing this guy for a while samantha got tired and was like i am done done with namibian men right now i want to change and date another race and this brings us to online dating apps because when you are in africa i told you guys it is very difficult to come across a white guy that you can start a relationship i also told you even if you're in europe <laughs> it is also hard yes you come across white men but to approach you <laughs> to go out with you date you it is very difficult so the best place to find white men is online dating apps so samantha downloaded a dating app called christian dating app and that was 2020. so guys samantha had the name of that dating app from a friend but we should keep it in mind that samantha never had any experience about online dating apps she didn't have any information of how online dating world can be she only downloaded the dating app and went to the dating app with the mind that white men are better <laughs> so last time i got a question a lady was asking me to differentiate dating a white guy and a black man she was like who is better a white man or a black man but guys by watching this story till the end you are going to get the answers who is better so samantha thought that dating a white guy is a good idea they are so good they are so romantic they are honest that is the mindset that samantha went with to the dating apps never had any experience i repeat so after samantha downloading christian dating app the next day received a message of a guy from tunisia his name is tony tony sent her a message and was like i dream of getting married to a black woman i've been looking for a black lady <laughs> just like you guys have been like i dream to marry a white man so tony was dreaming or wanted to marry a black woman and was so happy that he came across samantha's profile so samantha was very happy after reading tony's message and said yes this is it so tony told samantha please for us to communicate more download telegram <laughs> <laughs> guys i know if you have experience or if you have watched one of my videos i told you if you're chatting with a guy make sure 
you use this normal communication that everyone uses like whatsapp don't go and start downloading i don't know skype start downloading telegram start downloading viber no 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 <laughs> So if Samantha had watched this, when she was chatting with Tony, she would have been on that alert mode. Why Telegram? Why not WhatsApp? <laughs> but because she had no experience, she downloaded Telegram and that is when their communication started. So they continued chatting on Telegram. That is 2020. <laughs> so they would chat on Telegram. They exchanged pictures on Telegram. Everything was going very, very well. Tony had very, very sweet words. Oh my God, <laughs> that can melt your heart. Because after chatting for a while with Samantha, told her that I have got a ticket to come to Namibia 12th January 2021 because I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to show the whole world of how I am in love with you. I want to settle down with you, marry you, have a family with you. Samantha was over the moon. Guys, imagine it is your first time on online dating apps. You don't have any experience and then you chat with a guy like that. Of course, you are going to believe him. <laughs> I know you have experience, now you are laughing because you know what is next. But Samantha never had any idea <laughs> of what was coming for her. <laughs> so they continued communicating and one day Tony told Samantha that he has told the parents about her and the parents are so happy they can't wait to meet her. <laughs> Mind you, all this while, it is almost to a year, they had never made even a single video call. How many times have I told you that if you are chatting with a guy, if it's not the first day, the second day, make sure you talk on a video call so that you know whom you are dealing with. So Samantha chatted with this guy for one year without seeing him on a video call but believed the guy believed the words of tony so 12th january 2021 came the day that tony was supposed to go to namibia so samantha waited for him and the time for him to arrive came but Tony never arrived. <laughs> so Samantha had to call the cousin who works at the airport. If there is a plane that landed, that Tony said he took that plane. Then the cousin was like, no, that plane never landed here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and that was the end of tony tony disappeared that 12th january 2021 so samantha was very disappointed that day and so angry at tony thought of those beautiful words that tony used to tell her and was like why why then in the end she got an answer that tony was just a player so tony's story ended there but samantha never gave up she was like no i am going to take a little break but i'm not giving up i am coming back to the dating apps after the break so friends before samantha returns from her break <laughs> I want to tell you how I got to know Samantha. One day I received a DM on my Instagram, just like most of you do. So she wrote to me and was like, I am Samantha from Namibia, your fan from YouTube. I know you're going to wonder why I am writing to you this. Guys, it was September this year. I'll check for that message and if possible, put it here or here, our first conversation with Samantha. So after introducing herself, told me that she's planning to come to Italy, Milan, October this year and wanted help from me 
to help her look for an affordable accommodation if it is a hotel a bnb or hostel she was okay with it but i told her that samantha unfortunately i live a bit far from me land she told me if you can find someone to help me who lives in milan i'll be very very grateful i also remember the first question i asked her are you coming to italy to study or you are coming as a tourist she told me i am coming for vacation so guys in my mind i thought that samantha is one of those you know well-off lady who wants to spoil themselves with a trip to italy milan <laughs> yeah so that is what i thought guys about samantha and she kept on writing to me from time to time asking me if i have found someone who will help her to find an affordable accommodation i told her not yet it continued like that so let's go back <laughs> when samantha returned from her break so dear friends samantha returned back to online dating world <laughs> ready to search for the love of her life never gave up <laughs> yeah so she downloaded a new dating app no more christian dating app no this is a new dating app actually this dating app is the second best dating app after afro introduction yes so it is not afro introduction or <laughs> i'm going to be mentioning the name of the dating app before i end this story so she downloaded this dating app that was 2021 december and then started chatting with men from all over the world but nothing good was coming out till february 2022 and that is when she received a very cute message from this cute italian guy 35 years of age very young samantha was so happy to receive a message from this italian guy his real name is ricaldo <laughs> yeah so after chatting for a while on online dating apps that february with ricardo ricardo requested for a whatsapp number not telegram <laughs> not viber no guys he wanted whatsapp and yes samantha exchanged whatsapp numbers with ricardo they moved to whatsapp and started communicating so they kept on communicating on whatsapp and Samantha tells us Ricardo was so loving, very romantic and caring. Something that made Samantha fall in love with Ricardo. She was like, thank you, God. I pray that you bring the right man in my life and I think I have found him. <laughs> so she was telling me, Bella, I was so happy because I found the guy who is young, you know, he's 35, my age mate. So I was really over the moon. <laughs> So Samantha and Ricardo could talk every single day. They could make video calls. Ricardo could tell her very, very important words, very romantic words. He could be like, you are the love of my life. You are my wife. You are the one I want to be with and I can't wait to see you. So they chatted from February and when it arrived May, 2022 ricardo was like i want to see you please please make sure we meet as soon as possible so guys samantha tells us for her she was planning that they meet after at least a year or two after they have saved enough money to meet and you know enjoy their vacation together but ricardo insisted had to put a lot of pressure on samantha that he wants to meet samantha this year he can't wait anymore <laughs> and the truth is samantha was deeply in love with ricardo <laughs> so she got blinded by love i'm saying she got blinded you're going to find out as we continue with the story 
so after putting a lot of pressure on samantha samantha was like okay so let's meet september this year but ricardo told her that he has got healthy problems sometimes he gets you know trouble in breathing so he has to do a surgery on his nose september this year so they cannot meet in september they had to postpone to october so guys to add on the agreement to meet ricardo had a request to that samantha should ask a leave of two months but we all know that <laughs> all offices around the world like legal legal time for someone to go on leave it is only 28 days right <laughs> yeah so samantha asked for leave but she did not get two months no she was given only a month so samantha started the process of her trip to come to italy to meet ricardo for that first time guys more is coming just keep watching samantha tells us in namibia there is no italian embassy this is so so sad and i don't know why so she had to travel from namibia to pretoria south africa to apply for her visa so she traveled to pretoria and also booked a hotel in pretoria you know she has to stay there to wait for her visa and about her accommodation in italy she got it finally found a hotel apartment in milan and that accommodation in milan unfortunately they couldn't get one month she only got 12 days those were the days that were available yeah so when she applied for the visa she applied for only 12 days stayed in pretoria and the day to go receive the visa came she was granted her visa to go to italy meet ricardo for that first time i know right now you have lots of questions like bella did ricardo pay for the flight ticket did ricardo pay for her visa did ricardo pay for her hotel in pretoria <laughs> you are going to find out guys just be patient so guys that day that samantha was waiting for to go meet the love of her life came <laughs> and she was traveling with qatar airways i'm going to be inserting a short clip of her leaving the airport in south africa <laughs> to come to italy so friends samantha tells us her trip was really a long one because it was her first time traveling outside africa so i can imagine how tired she got and finally guys samantha arrived in italy at malpensa airport in milan she was very very happy couldn't wait to meet ricardo because they agreed that they are going to meet at the airport he's gonna be there to pick her up so in her mind you know she was like oh my god i can't wait to see him you know with flowers you know airport hugs tears of joy <laughs> oh my god ah we can dream ladies we can dream but it is life <laughs> yeah we should always keep on dreaming because one day those dreams will come true so she was really really excited when she landed so after arriving ricardo had told samantha that when you arrive at the airport immediately buy italian sim card so she had to go and do what ricardo had told her when to buy the sim card and the lady who was selling the sim cards sold her two sim cards which she doesn't know why <laughs> and it costed her 140 euros so now afro cinema <laughs> begins after buying those two sim cards the lady told her that you are going to wait for three hours for those sim cards to activate 
and at that time she was not seeing any ricardo anywhere <laughs> at the airport she started getting worried waited 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 in the end she had to ask someone a phone to call ricardo so she called ricardo but the phone was just ringing and ringing he was not picking the call in the end she decided to send him the text messages but also ricardo did not reply to the text messages samantha tells us it was late in the evening almost approaching eight at night so after waiting for two good hours not seeing ricardo she had to take the taxi go to the hotel where she had booked so after arriving at the hotel afro cinema <laughs> the taxi costed her 169 euros now at the hotel she was asked to deposit the money which had remained because she paid some amount and another amount she was supposed to pay it when she arrives so when she took her card to pass it through on the machine the card said that she had reached the limit of spending for that day oh my god tells us she had no idea of something like that so she came to know at that exact moment and they wanted 222 euros to be paid she panicked a lot those people of the reception at the hotel were looking at her in a very bad way strange way and what came into her mind was to call the boyfriend so that he can come and rescue her solve the problem <laughs> so called ricardo again and this time caldo picked the call she told him that you know what i have a very big problem here can you please come and help me I I have to pay this amount but i have reached the limit of spending for today then i am going to refund you the money tomorrow do you know what ricardo replied guess <laughs> is ricardo going to come and rescue samantha <laughs> guess guys write me in the comments below but the answer is no he told samantha my mother fell on the stairs today so i cannot leave her and come to you the only solution is for you to take a train go back to the airport return to your country namibia can you imagine guys she got shocked remember it is late at night she is in a foreign country and more worse that country does not speak english it is only italian doesn't know where the train station is and guys you can't just return to the airport and take the next plane return to your country <laughs> you are going to be charged another amount of money so the only option that remained for samantha was to call her people back home so that they can help her deposit the money to her bank so that she can pay for the hotel because at that time those people of the hotel they are really bad when she told me about it i was like how can people be that cruel they threw samantha out of the hotel with her luggages at night to make things clear it was a credit card not a debit card <laughs> yeah so her people sent her money to her bank account and she was able to pay for the hotel then got the room thank god so she arrived in italy 2nd november it was a wednesday ricardo did not come the first day did not come the second day came on the third day day and we have another afro cinema <laughs> so ricardo told her that he was coming to see her she got very excited couldn't wait to meet him <laughs> and yes he arrived but never hugged her 
never kissed her even here and he had mask you know this mask that we use to protect ourselves from covid <laughs> oh my god he also had a small bottle of mineral water in his hands with a covid test not flowers not gifts <laughs> that is how he came to see his girlfriend for the first time. Samantha was very surprised of how Ricardo acted. It was so, so strange. Not the same Ricardo that she used to talk to when she was back home in Namibia. He was totally a different man the way he was behaving. He also went to an extent of doing a COVID test on her. So he did that test on her, it came out negative, but still never hugged her, never kissed her. He only said, you look more beautiful than the photos. That's it. And took her for a walk along the river. I'm going to show you the photo here <laughs> of the river where they went for a walk. And all that time as they were walking, everyone around them did not have a mask only ricardo had a mask all that time and when they finished their walk returned to the hotel ricardo left returned to his home that was 4th november friday so on saturday i received a dm from samantha and at that time guys i had no idea that samantha traveled this november actually for me i thought she traveled october because at first she told me she was planning to travel in october so getting her dm i was really surprised she told me hi bella i am samantha i am here in italy came to meet my Italian boyfriend, but our meeting went really, really bad. This guy is a mama's boy. He's letting his parents come between us. Cause I came here, he only came on Friday, never kissed me, took me for a walk and that's it, he left. So she told me, I am going to tell you the whole story when I returned to Namibia, but I've cried so, so much. Guys, I was in a shock, total shock. <laughs> yes, so I told her, please, Samantha, you can tell me the story now. If there is something I can advise you, then I give you an advice. So guys, that is when she started telling me the whole story. So apparently guys, Ricardo does not work, lives with the mother. The father works far away from home, so it is only him and the mother. This guy is jobless, let's make it clear. How many times have I told you guys that do not date a guy who doesn't have a job. Do not date a guy who is living with the mother. How many times? So many times I've told you about this. And if you're here watching this, you're chatting with a guy, he does not work, better end that relationship right now. So she told me Ricardo does not work, lives with the parents. Came a question, why did you take the hotel? Why didn't you go to stay at Ricardo's parents' house where he lives? She was like, the house is not his, so I couldn't go to his house. Came another question, who paid for the visa? Who paid for the ticket? Who paid for the hotel? She was like, Bella, I paid everything. And to make matters worse, she told me that the money she used to travel, she took a loan and that loan will last for six good years. She has to pay for that loan for that long. How sad guys. Do you remember when I told you come across a wrong man, come across a wrong person in life, your life is ruined. So this Ricardo has ruined Samantha's life. Imagine you paying for a loan and you know the whole experience that you went through. It really hurts, guys. So 
so guys i've been doing videos and i laugh a lot some of you don't like it because <laughs> i've received some comments a lady telling me you laugh unnecessary <laughs> guys <laughs> i always laugh <laughs> i am like this i can't change myself okay <laughs> yeah so i always laugh but guys we should be serious i've been telling you if a guy is inviting you in his country he should pay for everything he is a man he should be a man i know you guys want to look independent but hey don't pay for your ticket don't pay for anything to go see a guy if you are in a good position you are capable of paying for your own visa pay for only your visa but he should pay for your ticket and your accommodation yes don't pay money to go see a man i repeat guys please please dear beautiful ladies because guys ricardo did what he did because he had nothing nothing guys to lose never spent even one euro on this lady so even if he just stay in his house and sleep or do whatever he wants it's okay with him he did not lose anything he never risked anything but if a guy spends his money i am very sure he's not just going to spend his money to lose his money just like that he's not interested he wants to play games and pays for a ticket and everything no he can't do that so please please learn from this another red flag that samantha ignored when she was applying for the visa ricardo was like don't put my name on that visa application i'm coming to italy to meet you if anything happens to me my parents or my relatives are going to call you so if i don't put any name if something happens to me whom are they going to call so they had a very huge argument in the end he accepted that she puts his name on that visa application but guys that was a red flag so guys as i was talking to samantha wanted to know point out those red flags where she went wrong so that i can tell her samantha you went wrong here and also tell you guys where she went wrong so i asked her your communication as you guys were communicating did this guy show you his parents like talk to him introduce to you or send you the photos of the parents she told me no bella ricardo refused to send the photo of the parents told me the parents don't like to take photos never introduced me to the parents only said that he talked about me to his parents but not in details another red flag <laughs> if i'm your girlfriend you love me so much i'm the love of your life you want to live with me <laughs> why not introduce me to your parents as your girlfriend <laughs> not into details that was a red flag so there was no even a family photo even that mother who fell on the stairs the day that samantha arrived in milan we don't know if she exists <laughs> another red flag guys this story is full of red flags red flags red flags so another red flag i asked her as you guys were talking did this guy show you their house you know around the house she was like no bella he used to talk with me on a video call only to spots if it is not in the kitchen then he will be in a room with a computer <laughs> that's it I told you guys if the guy has got nothing to hide from you on online dating apps about his life he's gonna be open he will show you everything he won't be like this is private or stay in one place like he is scared that someone will see him no he will be open 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 so that one was a red flag too let's learn guys so guys after talking to samantha that saturday i had to talk to my husband and tell him everything Thing. so he was like oh my god i'm so ashamed that this ricardo is italian how can he be so rude to a lady who crossed you know the continent to come see you and then you leave her in the hotel is he even a real man <laughs> who can leave a beautiful lady in a room <laughs> 
and even don't take the goodies. <laughs> so it sounded so strange to him. Then he was like, tell this lady if it is okay with her, instead of her staying in the hotel room, come here to our house. We can host her, show her around, take her to the restaurants, you know, take beautiful photos. Then my husband was like, she shouldn't block this guy. <laughs> she should come here, enjoy, and then post those photos so that he can see that she has good people who love her and then feel stupid. <laughs> he was like, please tell Samantha to tell Ricardo, say hi to your wife. <laughs> Also, he was like, you know what? We need to teach Ricardo a lesson. <laughs> she should send his number and then you're going to call him on a private number, threaten him. Be like, leave my girlfriend alone. <laughs> and please stop playing with women. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you know Italian mafias, so he wanted to act like an Italian mafia, talk to this Ricardo <laughs> to teach him a lesson. Always watch your back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I talked to Samantha, I was like, look, if it is okay with you, you can come and stay with us so that we can take you out, you know, and enjoy, at least pretend that you came for tour. Forget all the bad memories about this stupid guy. So Samantha's like, no, I've, I've talked to Ricardo. He told me that the parents are saying they are worried about my intention. Maybe I am not real. I want to use Ricardo. That is why they have even stopped him from coming because he might come and then I give the good, then get pregnant and start making stories wanting to take his money. But she told me, Bella, I'm wondering what kind of money if Ricardo doesn't work. I told her, girl, those are only stories. Then she told me that Ricardo told her to wait because the parents are going to make a video call with Samantha. So she was like, Bella, wait, let me talk to the parents and then I will see. But when she told me about all this story of parents and what, I was like, girl, it is not true. The parents does not even exist. This guy must be married. And if he is not married, then he is gay. He doesn't want to come be with you. But parents have got nothing to do with you. Don't listen to him. Like, okay, Bella, let me wait. I'm going to let you know. So in my heart, I was sure that video call will never be made. And yes, it never happened. He came again and was telling her, please return to your country return to namibia change the ticket did i ever tell you that you are my girlfriend are we boyfriend and girlfriend i've never told you that then samantha was like ricardo that means i am very crazy to come to italy to meet a guy that is not even my boyfriend guys whenever i could talk to samantha i could get so angry at this ricardo to be honest how can you treat a lady like that so i had to ask samantha what are you going to do are you going out to take maybe a walk see the duomo then she was like what is duomo <laughs> <laughs> I told her it is the cathedral that is known the whole world. You can't be in Milan without seeing the cathedral, the Duomo of Milano. <laughs> she was like, I don't know anything. I never researched anything about places to see in Milan because I knew Ricardo was going to take me to those places. I even bought very beautiful dresses to go to those romantic dinners with him. Oh my God. She was like, Bella, I am so, so disappointed. And I remember I told you guys before you travel to any country, research of the tourist places around that place this is to help you if you ask questions at the embassy but again now we see it will help you if you find yourself in such kind of a situation you know places to go at least tour so guys i know right now you are confused and you're like so why did ricardo do all that guys i told you also about this 
that on online dating apps exist men who will chat with you just to make you their online girlfriend and even some of them reach to an extent of sending you gifts and money whatever you want but meeting in real life it is not their thing they just want to fantasize on a video call or on chats so you should be very very careful guys fantasizers are so many on online dating apps yes they just sit there tell you beautiful words this guy was fantasizing of staying with samantha for two months in italy and thank god she was not able to get that two months leave what could have happened pay for the hotel for two good months <laughs> oh my god so beware of men who fantasize but they don't want to make things serious i told you a guy calling you every day that's not enough if you see any red flag something that you are not sure of it verify make sure you always verify so that you can stay at peace and be sure of whom you are dealing with because at the moment that ricardo came to know that this was real samantha is coming he started getting frustrated and panicked even the day that he came to see samantha samantha tells us he looked very very stressed <laughs> imagine you have a wife at home you can't leave her go stay with a side chick <laughs> so guys yes ricardo was only fantasizing samantha was only his online girlfriend and that's it meeting in real life no <laughs> that is why they never hugged they never kissed nothing he saw her that friday on 4th november and never saw her again he only came up with lots of excuses and telling her to return to namibia imagine so this guy thought it is a joke i pay for the ticket everything spend all that money and again you tell me go back <laughs> just like you know taking a bus <laughs> in kenya we'll say taking a matter two you just take a matter two and return to your country no it doesn't work like that and it is very very possible ricardo never traveled internationally <laughs> never been to the airport also because the things he did made me think this guy is so ignorant yes because you can't tell a lady to buy a sim card whereby all international airports have got wi-fi i traveled for the first time to see my husband i used the airport wi-fi to communicate with him till when i arrived so there was no need because at the hotel they had wi-fi too i buy sim cards which costed her very very much 140 euros that's a lot of money so guys after all that i talked to samantha again i was like girl come and she was like yes bella i am going to come thank you so much i also made sure that she talked to my husband you know <laughs> and our baby sophie get to know the family uh, on a video call and then when she arrives she can feel comfortable so as i was waiting she came again and told me bella you won't believe i had to return to the dating apps <laughs> <laughs> and try my luck <laughs> so found two guys one was young just like ricardo and another one was 47 this first one made a video call with her in the car and i was like mm, samantha be careful because <laughs> the guy who talks in the car mm, why not home the second who was mature 47 talked with her when he was in the house so she told me bella i am not going to come now i just want to see how this date's gonna go so she first met the young one took her for a walk to the castle in milano the castle name is called castellos forcesco i was in milan may at that castle <laughs> i'm going to be inserting some short clips of that castello or queso because <laughs> i was there <laughs> so she went there at night took some photos but they did not come out well it was at night but she told me that guy was talking so much 
couldn't give her time to talk so she did not like the guy was like no he is too much wants to see me again but he's too much so the next day went out with another date this one of 47 everything went well took her for dinner we were really positive about that guy and she was so excited so after dinner they went to the hotel they kissed you know never gave her goodies but everything went very very well so she told me bella i cannot tell you i am going to come because i have you know <laughs> these people here and i was like yes girl if you're enjoying yourself that is what i wish because guys i'm telling you i could call her every single day and it could start early in the morning because i was so worried she is in a new country doesn't know anyone and you know strange things happen these people on online dating apps so i could make sure i call her early in the morning to know if she woke up well and know her plans for that day so she decided to remain in milan because she had people to walk her around before when i invited her to my house i was worried maybe she can even do something bad to herself staying in a hotel room for the whole day with all those thoughts of ricardo mm. <laughs> wasn't good at all but unfortunately guys the guy that we had lots of hopes in him eventually he also disappeared and that was on friday samantha was supposed to travel back to namibia on monday i was like there's no need for her to take a train for two hours come here and then on sunday she has to return back because on monday it is her trip back to namibia but i wish she could have come here to stay with us but it went how it went guys <laughs> so i told you that i didn't know anything of her travel to come here to italy to meet ricardo i asked her why didn't you tell me because i felt so bad i was like girl if you had watched my videos you could have been saved if you could have told me when you were still in namibia about this guy i could have saved you why didn't you tell me why she was like bella the truth is i wanted to do a surprise to you and this really broke my heart because this lady watched some of my success stories that i shared here on my channel and was like okay i'm going to do a surprise to bella once i'm in italy i meet ricardo everything goes well we take some photos everything i am going to share everything with bella as a surprise as a success story so that is the reason why she never told me anything about her travel or about ricardo but oh god it is how it is guys we can't do anything it has happened but you who has got an opportunity to watch this love story please please learn from it so dear beautiful ladies please don't judge samantha of all that happened don't condemn her but give her words of encouragement because i know yes this was a failure because samantha traveled on monday 14th november to go back to namibia i'm going to be sending you know the photos of her at the airport going back to namibia her trip was a failure she couldn't wait to go back home meet her loved ones told me i am going to give everything to god to be the one to guide me and i believe samantha will find a man who will love her for who she is because she has learned a lesson from all of this yes if you remember Noreen's story she had a very bad story before but eventually i shared her success story so i am very hopeful that i am going to share samantha's success love story one day here on my channel and i'll be like do you remember samantha <laughs> friends i've shared with you lots of tips in this love story and i know the video is really really long so let us end it 
here please please give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this story please subscribe if you have not subscribed watch my other videos too until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.